Well, hello YouTube, it's me Sassy Stacy, and I'm here tonight with a snack box from TryTreats.com and tonight's taste adventure is going to take us to Ireland, yay! I know it's been a while since I posted, but I'm glad to be here and I hope you're glad to see me. Uh, let's go on this taste adventure together, shall we? But first, let me tell you where you can find out more about Try Treats. So, trytreats.com slash subscribe and you can save 15% off with my exclusive promo code, which is HEAD TO HEELS in all capital letters. So, H-E-A-D, the number two, H-E-E-L-Z. And that's 50% off your first box at trytreats.com. You can check them out also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and then you can tag them at uh, trytreats and hashtag trytreats. Let's get into this. Woo! All right. We'll go through the box. We'll count the box because we all know at the end I like to do my, what is it, 10 through 9, but I never, I never end up with the right number and it gets screwed up and I end up counting again. <laughs> Let's see if we can fix it this time. All right, we have the usual suspects up here. Um, we got our little postcard from the Cliffs of Moher in Ireland. It has some little interesting quips about it. Uh, this month's snack comes to you from the Republic of Ireland, an island country located off the coast of England, famous for its music, beer production, and the beautiful landscape. The Cliffs of Mohar, depicted on the front of this postcard, are an example of the enchanting natural wonders that can be found in Ireland. Ireland is also known for its love of potatoes, dating back to the 1700s when it became a staple food in Ireland because the nutritional and it was easy to grow. That's my attempt at a shitty Irish accent. I apologize severely to anybody affected by that. Uh, for a long period of time, potatoes were a primary meal for a large segment of Ireland, and as a result, the Irish love and are serious about their crisps. Uh, in this box, <laughs> you will find some of the finest Irish treats with selections from sweet to savory, including savory chips like chip sticks and sorry chip sticks by Tato, classic sweets like Milky Way by Mars, and unique treats like Meanies by Tato, and many more. There's something in this box for everyone, and I hope you enjoy. You may have noticed the way I'm saying Tato. And some of you might have picked up on it already if you're Conan O'Brien fans, but a long time ago, Conan O'Brien went to the Irish History Museum in Chicago and they were selling potatoes, and this is how they were saying it, and it was just all about the potatoes for like a solid two and a half minutes. And as soon as I opened the box, I was like, ah, and I looked it up on YouTube and I had myself a good laugh as well as my coworkers had a good laugh with me because I was like, the potatoes, look at all these onion potatoes. All right, let's see, explore Ireland with treats. I call it a taste adventure. You guys can use that if you want. I, I won't. I won't accept any money, but you can never stop sending me boxes. All right, so this Irish Taste Adventure fax cards. Um, population of poor, 400, no, what? 47 million, 840,000? No, 4.784 million. <laughs> Language is Irish, I can't math today, I'm sorry guys. Um, it's 84,000 kilometers square. The capital is Dublin. Um, it's a democracy, I guess, par parliamentary democracy, much like us here in Canada. Uh, national holiday is actually St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, and St. Stephen's Day, which is our Boxing Day. Northern Ireland is governed by the United Kingdom, while the rest of Ireland is an independent nation. I thought I heard something about that. Uh, Guinness beer is widely popular in Ireland. It's first originated in the country, wait, yeah, in the country and can be found throughout the country in pubs and grocery stores. Leprechauns are a huge part of Irish tradition and folklore. They are tiny men who can fit in the top of your shoulder. They are completely harmless and are believed to have buried numerous pops of gold all throughout Ireland. 
the patron saint of Ireland, St. Patrick, who is said to have rid the country of snakes. All right. Dublin Caudle is the recipe on the card, which is a, looks like basically a stew. Dublin Caudle is a traditional Irish potato sausage and bacon stew that cooks away, that slow cooks away in the oven. Caudle can be considered Irish comfort food and it is inexpensive and easy to prepare and to, to cook. All right, neat. That sums that up. All right, so here we go on to the treats here. Let's start with the non-crisp items because there are three. All right, first we got these fruit pastilles. We got a Milky Way bar, um, a triple X peppermints, and then on to the, the crisps they're so freaking proud of. We got tato cheese and onion, tato smoky bacon, chopstick salt and vinegar, tato cheese and onion again, with the meanies pickled onion flavor, and then monster munch pickled onion flavor, and then there's the old Johnny onion rings. Anyway, let's count these chips. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten items. There we go. Ten. You heard me say it. All right. So let's start with uh, start with the big chips. Maybe something with a little onion to it. <laughs> They're all got onion to it. All right, let's try the tato cheese and onion. Secrets in the flavor. S set deep in Ulster's countryside is Tato Castle, where Tato have been making some of the world's best loved crisps and snacks since 1956. Wow. All right, let's have a look. See? They look like chips. They smell like chips. Looks like it's like if cheddar and sour cream and onion were together. Mm -hmm. Alright. Those are pretty good. Let's go for something a little more exciting. The Monster Munch Pickled Onion. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared of these ones. Ooh. Cool. Not what I was expecting at all. Look at the shape. They're like little claws. On the bag, it looks like they're gonna be like thin, but they're not. They're thick. Oh my god, so zesty. Zesty. Not sure what I'm feeling on this. I thought they were gonna be more over the top. Honestly, a lot like our um, all dress flavor, which is all of the flavors like barbecue, sour cream and onion, salt and vinegar, ketchup. Yeah, all of those flavors together is an all dress chip. And this is very, very similar to that. All right, let's try the chip sticks. I feel like those veggie crisps, you know, the square tubes, the square tubes, I think. Is the tube round necessarily? I think it is tubular round. Well, number one, Totally forgot they were salt and vinegar flavored, so I was expecting a plain chip. <laughs> I was wrong, but these are actually a really good uh, salt and vinegar. I like these. Okay. Ooh. Fun fact, salt and vinegar chips make me have like this cold sweat sensation when I eat them. It's very strange. If anybody has any insight on that, comment please. I'm dying to know. I've Googled it. Didn't find out much except that it's a thing that some people experience. I would imagine it has something to do with histamines or pH or some stuff like that. All right, let's try the Tata Smoky Bacon. The Tata Smoky Bacon seems to have had better days in the 
big chip department. It looks like a pretty big beat up bag, but as long as the flavor is still there, I don't mind. All right, smoky bacon tato. Smells like a chip. So we have a smoky bacon chip. And I don't typically get, typically get it because I feel like I taste the sodium and I, I feel the sodium or the MSG or both or yeah. And it's not great. It's not the best flavor. These are opposite. These are quite light in the smoky bacon department. The salt content doesn't burn my tongue. But they are closer to a plain chip than a flavor chip. Or crisp. Crisp. All right. I'm going to try and remember all my notes. Oh my God. I'll switch it up. I tried this Milky Way. We'll go all the way with the Milky Way. We have Milky Way here, I think. Or we had? I don't know. Mm. Soft nougat. Oh shit, I've been forgetting. All right, Milky Way by Mars, the epitome of chocolate indulgent, encapsulating a heavenly blend of creamy nougat and caramel, enrobed in rich velvety milk chocolate. Each bite is a journey through layers of sumptuous sweetness. <laughs> that explanation is a little over the top, but it is quite lovely. The nougat is nice and soft and creamy. I don't like a nougat that sticks in your teeth. I just don't. Not right. The smoky bacon tato is from the northern. Okay, so tato by tato is from the northern Ireland version of tato. After Ireland was separated into Ireland and Northern Ireland, each country had its own version of tato. This bag is a treasure trove of savory delight. There you go, tato by tato. Um, and the ch chipsticks say, potato chipsticks are baked salty, or a baked salty stick shaped potato treat with a perfectly crispy and crunchy texture. This flavor combination brings tangy acidic taste with an authentic strong potato flavor. And then we have the Monster Munch. Monster Munch by Walkers is a legendary snack that unleashes monstrous flavor with every crunch. Each bite-sized claw-shaped corn snack is bursting with an intense, irresistible seasoning. This is one that I said was shaped really weird. It's supposed to be a claw, and I guess I guess I can see it. And next slide. Tato cheese and onion. Tato crisps is a brand that is embedded in Ireland's culture to consider be the most popular potato chips in Ireland. The Irish just can't go without their potato crisps. And the leprechaun just can't go without his lucky charms. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Let's try some Johnny Onion Rings. Johnny Onion Rings by Tato are the crunchy delight, offering a savory taste that rings true to the essence of classic onion flavor. Each ring is meticulously crafted with a satisfyingly crispy texture that bursts of tangy onion goodness. They love their potatoes and they love their onions. It's all they could afford, you know. This is a, a stronger onion flavor and onion scent than I've had on anything ever, like crisp-wise, besides an actual onion. It's not terrible. All right. You view over there, Johnny Onion Ring. Um, well, let's try one of these fruit pastilles. Round Trees Fruit Pastilles by Nestle are chewy fruit flavor gummies that contain real fruit juice and no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. In initially produced back in 1881, Fruit Pastilles are a timeless and classic treat. 
Let's do this. Oh, look at that. They come in like a little stick of gumdrops. Vegan friendly. Mm. I like a nice gummy treat, you know? Mm. My mom at Christmas signs makes a gumdrop cake. It's like a, it's not even a pound cake. It's beyond pound cake. It's very dense with gumdrops and raisins and it's very delicious. Mm. I like the fruit pastilles a lot. All right. Let's move on to the, once I'm done chewing this, I can't imagine the pickled onion and lemon would be a good combination. Well, you never know with the lemon. Out of all the flavors, lemon might be the one that works. Nothing washes down gumdrops like Pinot Grigio. All right. Pantomini's pencils onion flavor. And this is what I was anticipating those flavors be looking like. This. Ooh, those are intense. Ooh. Mega Meanies by Dreto. Meanies are tangy puffed corn crisps shaped like monster claws. What sets this corn snack apart from the rest is the strong, tantalizing pickled onion flavor that will leave you craving more and going, whoop, 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 apparently. All right. Ah, get back up this potato. Oh my goodness. Those are intense. Real intense. Okay. Cheese and onion tetos. Where are you? There you are. Tato Crisp is a brand. Is this like a different one? So I had those ones. Jeez. I think these were supposed to be a different flavor. Anyway, more cheese and onion crisps from Tato. And these hardly have any, any flavor to them. It's so different. I guess these are castle cooked and these are not castle cooked. Oh, they're lentil chips. Oh. Oh. So these are cheese and onion lentil chips. Lentil chip? I guess. But no, I think it's just advertising lentil chips on the back. Yeah, these are potato chips. Okay. Well, so why are they why are they shaped like potato chips if they're lentil chips? They aren't lentil chips, they are potato chips. Alright. So, get my shoe back on here. After all the cheese and onion and pickled onion and onion flavors, they were kind enough to send me a pack of mints. So let's try their seriously strong triple X pepper mints. Let's read all about them, shall we? Excuse me, I belched. <clears throat> all right. XXX mints are by Vallejo are seriously strong mints with an extra powerful kick of peppermint. Traditionally, hard pressed XXX mints have unrivaled mint flavor guaranteed to leave your mouth feeling clean and fresh. Wow. We'll see about that. It's definitely got the job, a job ahead of it. They are not on like Tums, the antacid, you know what I mean? A little less chalky. 
one has almost cut through. It is exactly like a white peppermint like we have here in Canada, but thinner. It's like the size of a fucking quarter, probably, maybe a little smaller than a quarter. And yeah. Just a little peppermint candy. Okay, guys. This is gonna be a task. Mostly because they're all pretty much the same flavor. So, and I also gotta remember that there's chocolate, gummies, and a mint to be intermingled with all these chip flavors. All right, so I'm gonna go with this guy, the Teito Cheese and Onion you gave my least favorite at number 10. So I count down, number one is the best, okay? Um, probably the next one, number nine, will be the the other Teito Cheese and Onion. Again, they were lacking in an overall flavor. You know what, no. Nope, take that back. The Teito Smoky Bacon were nine because, what the name is Smoky Bacon? There was no smoke. There was no smoke. Cheese and onion, at least there was a little bit of cheese. So that's 10, 9, 8. We're gonna go with a seven on the mints because mints are mints. Um, do, 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 which one was the extreme one? Okay, we're gonna do, excuse me. We're gonna do six on the Johnny Onion Rings, a five on the Monster Crunch, a four on the Milky Way, a three on the Salt and Vinegar Chips, a two on the Castilli's, and a one on the pickled onion memes because anything that makes me go, whoo, yeah, especially after having slight disappointment on the others. Yeah, I think uh, big meanies, pickled onion chips are the big winner here tonight with these pastilles being a close second. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful spring. May is here. Hopefully it's gonna be a nice one for us. I hope everybody has safe and fun times with their family and friends and fills their cup with joy. I am still chewing this candy. I'm gonna make sure I'm still recording. All right. I am, yay! Um, so yeah, I am going to be moving. My whole life's going to be upturned here for a minute. Um, but I do plan on getting back on the content train. I've been dabbling in it a little bit here and there. Um, just trying to, you know, make it through life. I'm going through a rough time right now. And I appreciate everybody's patience and, and support. For those of you still supporting me on my subscription-based platforms, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Um, and speaking of, if you want to see more of me, you can go over to OnlyFans and Patreon and check me out there. I got the links for that down below. Um, also, you can check me out on Instagram and TikTok, uh, as well as right here on YouTube. I've got tons of content. I've been doing this four years now, which is madness. Um, and if you want to get yourself one of these delicious snack try treat snack boxes, uh, you can once again go to trytreats.com slash subscribe and use my head to heels promo code. That's H E A D number two, H E E L Z, all capital letters. Um, and you can get 15% off your first box and you can check them out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. That's trytreats.com. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Thanks for continuing to watch. If you don't want to miss me, hit that subscribe button and ding the dinger and you'll get alerts whenever I post. I am so glad to be here and I love you all so much. Sassy Stacy out.